All right, all right, all right. Aries, babies. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, my Aries friends. Quick shots tonight. Quick shots. Just a little, a little quick look. See at love. Gonna be a freestyle tarot with the heaven and earth tonight, Aries. Got some love cards, and I got a couple of major arcana from, uh, well, this is the Millennium Thoth, 22 majors at the top off your spread. I definitely want to thank you for your views. Thanks for clicking. And I want to thank you, all my Aries friends that have always blessed me over the many, many years I've been on YouTube here. Aries, have you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form? I always want to say thank you so very, very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all. Large or small, let's rock and roll. Aries, quick shot. We're looking for a love story. We're looking for a love story for Aries. We got a jump. What jumped? What's going on around here, man? That's a serious jump right there. Ten of Pentacles jumped out here for you, Aries. Wow. Yeah, no, that's the tree of life right there. The tree of life. I don't know. It's the little white picket fence, the big pink house. It's going to the bank. Stacking coins, you know. Ooh la la. Ten pins jumped out of the deck. Aries, what's going on around here? What's going on around here? Aries, babies. Aries. Give me one. What's going on, Aries? Justice just showed up around here. What? Justice and Ten of Pentacles. Wow. This is the favor of the gods, if you ask me. It's the gods weighing the scales and then falling in Aries' favor. It's a major arcana. It's big Libra. That may mean something to you. Let's go, Aries. What's going on around here? Something about justice and ten pentacles. Give me one. What's going on, Aries? Oh, oh wow. A big Scorpio card came out. Major arcanas. Aries. Sun, moon, rise, and Venus. The Pale Rider just showed showed themselves right here. That's a card about death, birth, resurrection, and major transformation in the world of Ten Pentacles. Maybe the little white picket fence and the big pink house. Maybe uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> trips to the bank. Maybe both. Two major arcanas, Aries. After Ten Pinnacles, Justice, Death, what's going on? Another major arcana for you. Wow, 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 wow. The world card about an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Ooh, you cleared a bunch of karma around here, if you ask me. Justice, the Death card, and the world card completes an old cycle. So that a new cycle can begin. Looks like that new cycle jumped right to the Ten of Pentacles, Aries. I'm excited for you. Give me a little more. A little more right here. A little more. The World card. Oh. Well, we got somebody over here. Maybe. And maybe trying to put out your fire. Somebody tried to put out your star. This is a card of drama, karma. You know, I mean, if somebody, injustice is here. Somebody may have tried to stop all this. They tried to stop the blessings of the gods. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's a karma card that just showed up over there. Five of Wands. Five of Wands, somebody tried to uh, pull that uh, star apart. Looks to me like they failed. Let's go on right here. This is a love pony showing up around here, Aries. It's the Knight of Cups. 
It's the Knight of Cups on the other side of your new world. It's a, <laughs> oh, a star came out. A star came out. He's, you know, healing, dreams coming true. Star puts that in kind of hellfire. You know, all your enemies. <laughs> All your enemies are having a rough day. I, I, and it looks like there's a brand new world full of justice. Huge transformational energy. Got a world card. Got a lover right there. Uh, that's, a, that's a love pony. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. There's a star. Big Aquarius about dreams coming true. Absolutely stunning, Aries. Absolutely stunning. Let's... Play with a love card right here. We do got the love pony that showed up in your new world. To the star. I mean. Well, that was very interesting. Very soon. Very soon. Aries. Aries. Chemistry. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Love pony to the star. Oh, did you bring the star? Yes, it's right there, darling. Chemistry. Ooh, there's a strong magnetic attraction. Soulmate. Soulmate came out, Aries. Ooh la la. And honeymoon. Ooh, there's some movement. There's some travel. Huh? It says enjoy the bliss of time together. <laughs> Aries, playfulness. Playfulness. Aries, love your cards right here, man. And somebody, you know, touch not the touch not the beloved of, of the gods, man. Wow, when I said that, I'm looking at this uh there's a thought showing up around here. That's a, that's a thought showing up around here. The one who's trying to bring your star, man. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh yeah, there's these freaking devils right here, man. Oh, Aries. <laughs> oh, hey, it looks like there's some, there's some fires in the camps over there. It, it, whoever these are have been bothering you. It's probably spiritually, if nothing else. Um, they got fires in their own camp these days. What a beautiful, what a beautiful spread. The new world. Justice. Transformation. There's some transformation over here, too, Aries. Yes, there is. That transformation seems to be all about a tower. <laughs> Who's the all-seeing eye right there? Who is all that, man? Anyway, man. Anyway, man. Now, that's all done. We just call that done. Aries. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty spicy card right here, Aries. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a strength card in the thought, and uh, it's pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy right there. Honeymoon, soulmate, chemistry, ten of pentacles, victory after the battle. Aries, if you made it this far to read, thanks for review. Appreciate it so very much. Uh, hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button. Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button, Aries, and we'll play some cards in a few short days. Love and light. Love and light, my Aries. Bye for now. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Let's play some tarot. Let's see what's going on, Taurus. My bull gang gang. My bull gang gang. Taurus. All right. All right, all right, all right. Shake him up for Taurus. Taurus, quick shot for Taurus, love team. Quick shot for Taurus. My Empress, male, female. 
A bull gang gang. Taurus. Taurus. Look for the good stuff. Let's see what we got for Taurus. Let's rock and roll. Hello, Taurus. Random Mike here. Come play a little bit of tarot with you. Quick shot right here, Taurus. Quick shot. I'm going to do a little freestyle tarot with the heaven and earth tonight, Taurus. Got some love cards because primarily that's what I'm looking for in a quick shot, right? Here's a little love story. Got a couple of major arcana from the Millennium Thoth. Top off your spread. I always want to thank you for your view. Thanks for the like while you think about it, Taurus. And a big shout out to many, many, many of my Taurus friends that have blessed me over the years. If you ever blessed me, Taurus, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all. Large or small, let's rock and roll, Taurus. Taurus. Looking for a love story here. Looking for the good stuff. Connected with my Taurus, babies. What's going on? Hmm. This is the Knight of Swords right here. This is, <laughs> could be a forewarned and a forearmed. You know, hey Taurus. Hey Taurus, where are you going? <laughs> Taurus, wait a minute. Baby, please don't go down to New Orleans. You know, I love you so, baby. Please don't go. What's this about, Taurus? That's a lightning pony right there. Coming chasing down the street after somebody that's heading for the mountaintop. Eight cops. It's about letting something go. It's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. This is kind of an aggressive card right here, too, you know. Hell, I call him the dragon slayer, you know. Out of my way. Out of my way. I got something to say to Taurus before you get up to the mountaintop. What's going on around here, Taurus? What's going on around here? Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see if the lightning pony's got any hope, man. Let's go, man. Woo! Taurus. Here they come. Here they come. Baby, please don't go. Baby, please don't go. <laughs> Four of Wands came out. Um I wonder if this is what the I wonder if this is what the lightning pony wants to talk about. Remember, 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 remember the four of wands days, Taurus. Uh, Taurus may be like, uh, weren't you? <laughs> um, yeah, let me think about this up on the mountaintop for a minute. Four of wands came out. The old eleven eleven card. Give me more on this for Taurus, please. Taurus. Taurus. Queen of Wands showed up. Hmm. Um, damn it. Uh, Queen of Wands all by themselves. Uh, it can be a little problem over here. Um, um, <laughs> maybe there was somebody else at the party. Maybe there was somebody else at the party. I'm just, let me give me some more right here. Not everybody, of course, but. Uh, we got eight of cups for some reason, and then my karmic partner showed up right there all by themselves. Maybe the, maybe the lightning pony. You know, maybe. Damn it, man! Damn it, man! Oh yeah, five of cups. That's a river of tears right there. Oh, maybe the lightning pony got fired by the car the karmic. Yeah, the old river of tears showed up. Oh, uh oh, now, they, now it looks like they're coming rushing back here for a uh, Taurus. Yeah, you know, yeah, it looks like somebody's star is upside down. That's all I know so far. Yeah, somebody's star is upside down. Now they'll be thinking about the two cups over there, Taurus. Now they'll be thinking about two cups and four wands. All I'm saying is that, you know, well, there's a juggler card right there. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy, Taurus. Um, now they'll be thinking about yin-yangs and four wands and uh, two cups. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Oh, yeah, somebody's thinking about three cups. 
That's our reconciliation. And another damn three. There's a lot of, oh, there's some spilled cups over here and the juggler card. I also call that the dance of change. This has got to be this lightning pony right here, huh, Taurus? Do, doing the dance of change. Uh, it's a rekindling. And it's the, it's the lover right there, Taurus. Oh, hi, Taurus. Here's my cup. Oh, <laughs> Slick Willie. Slick Willie showing up around here. Oh, Lordy. I got something to say. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Give me another one, man. Give me another one. A oh, Slick Willie. Oh, for Taurus. Oh, Lordy, Taurus. That's my empress right there. Slick Willie or <laughs> Slick Willie at. <laughs> Uh, I want to show back up and give that love cup, give that love cup to my Taurus right there. So, I got some Taurus, I mean, it's four wards, four arms, right, if this resonates with you. Maybe some Taurus getting up right now, bolting their door, other tarot. Yeah, oh, <laughs> seven of wands came out. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> back, you wild animals, back. Seven of Wands is my hero's card. It's my high tower. It's my high tower right there. Um, generally, I see that energy as, uh, well, <laughs> yeah, damn it. Look at this, look at this, Taurus. Oh, that Queen of Swords, damn it. There's a head, there's a head right there. Oh, Queen of Swords is a little cold and detached on the outside. But Taurus, I know she's really gooey, soft and chewy on the inside. Well, I don't know, you know, do what's best with the old silver-tongued uh, uh, lover showing back up around here, Taurus, huh? Give me a love card, give me a love card, a Taurus, babies. Seven of Wands and that Queen of Swords with the head of the hand. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the Lightning Pony. I don't know, man. They they better they better come in with their best shot. That's all I know, man. Give me one right here, Taurus. Taurus. A beautiful card for you to be honest with you. Loving yourself first. Hold on, hold on, Love Pony. I'm busy pouring this cup. Right. All oh, these are delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Pour that cup right down. Right down on yourself, Taurus. And, you know, loving yourself is also, you know, spending time with the divine. Healing the heart, healing the mind. Healing the heart, healing the mind. Paying attention to the red flags. Paying attention to the red flags. And uh, well, knowing that you deserve love. You deserve love. Give me a major arcana on here for my Taurus babies, please. Taurus. Taurus. Taurus babies. What we got? Ooh, justice. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn, justice just showed up. Uh, it says an adjustment. Looks like Taurus is making an adjustment here. Justice. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Woo, give me one more, Taurus. Taurus, baby, is what's going on? I just pulled the lover's card. The lover's card traditionally can talk about um, a choice. A choice. Going up to the mountaintops, spend some time with Source if this resonated with you right here. They may be leading you on a new path right here, a little adjustment, Taurus. All my love, uh, if you made it to this part, thanks, Taurus. Appreciate your view. Um, hopefully, I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button, Taurus. Uh, ring my bell, hit that I like mic button, and we'll post some cards if you sure do. Love and light, Taurus. Bye for now. Okay. Okay, my bull gang gang. Let's do it again. Gemini, Gemma Gem. 
Gemini. Gemini. Beautiful. Oh, the uh, Valkyrie, that's so true. And if you ask me, there's a huge shift in the, uh, in the uh, collective these days. Um, I mean, I've been showing it for a while. That old uh, judgment card that I played with out of um, uh, Tarot Apocalyptus, where it showed the, uh, the a real line between those that can't get up the mountain and those that are already on the mountaintop. And it shows a jumping into a new portal. Yeah, yeah. Um, these uh, karmic relationships, they can't go into the new earth. They're going to stay where they're at. If they want to hang on to their karmic, all that kind of stuff, yeah. Go on with yourself, right? Get on that love train. It's already rolling at about Mach 2. There's already people on that train, too, going to the new world. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Jimmy Jam. Gemini. Yeah, 2024. Well, I think the whole year is going to be a year of karma. We'll see, huh? I'm excited about it myself. Because what's returning? Good or bad? Let's see what Gemini's cards have to say. Wow, after I talked about all that, everybody, judgment came out. Judgment. That's rock and roll. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's rock and roll. Gemini, Gemini. My lovely, lovely Gemini. Let's play some tarot, Gemini. Hello, Gemini. Rambling Mike here. Going to play a little tarot with you. Quick shot. Quick shot right here, Gemini. Going to do a uh, freestyle tarot reading uh, with the Heaven and Earth Tarot. Primarily, I'm looking for a love story. I got some love cards, Gemini. I got a couple of major arcana from the Millennium Thoth tarot to top off your spread. I do always want to thank you for uh, clicking on. See what old Ramblin's got to say. Thanks for the like. Where you're thinking about it. My Jimmy Gems. And also a big thank you for all my Geminis that have blessed me over the years. Many of you, my friends, appreciate it all. Large or small. Jimmy Jam, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so very much. Let's do it. Let's play Quick Shot. Quick shot tarot, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tarot time, Gemini. Quick shot. What's going on? Jemmy, Gemini, a river of tears. A river of tears. Hmm. I don't know if that's your energy, um, because it's water. It's water. There's been this cup spilled over here. We'll see what's going on. It's a card of change. Uh, five cups always has the two cups behind them right there. The cups of bliss. You know, where we're supposed to turn around and pick up those two cups of bliss. Go over the go over the old river of sticks right there, you know. Back to our back to our high vibrational world over there. Let's see what's going on. Five of Cups. Gemini. Gemini. Jemmy Jab. Jemmy Jab. Jemmy Jab. This is a reevaluation card right here. It's Four Cups. Well. If these are your cards right here, that Ace of Cups that you see behind four cups right there, that could be something new showing up around here. 
Gemini, that's a uh, four cups is a card of sitting under the tree at the park. Looking at love, past, present, projected future. It's all empty. There's an ace of cups floating around in this story and two cups behind the old character in the river of tears. Huh. Look at this. That's a major arcana. Justice. That's about the scales balancing in your favor. A cut to ten of cups, Gemini. Maybe a predictive energy right here. If you're the five of cupper, four of cupper, which makes nine cups, make a wish. Justice. Cut to ten cups. That's a happy ever after. And look at right here is a new world. A new world showed up for my Gemini about an old cycle ending. Is this the old cycle ending? Yes. Then justice. I don't know. The promise of ten cups, the happy ever after. And a new world, an old cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Now we're talking. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me more about my Geminis right here. Two major arcanas, the world card is Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, the justice card is Libra, Ten Cups, this declares the ending of a very painful cycle, with the promise of a new day to dawn right here, Ten Swords, there, there is a cycle change happening here for many, many, many of my Geminis, yeah baby, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of change, the wheel of destiny, the wheel spinning, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Ooh, justice. The wheel, 10 cups, all on the other side of your new world right here. Leaving the land of 10 swords. Leaving the land of the river of tears. Leaving the land of four cups. What is that cup? There's a cup coming in here for you, Gemini. I see it. it's a new world energy. It has the potential to go to 10 cups. Huh? Wow, the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Here comes the sun. Love your new world right here, Gemini. Who'd you cut out? Did you cut the devil out? Did you leave the devil behind? Good for you. This is my card about breaking chains that bind. Definitely cleared a, a karmic cycle, to say the least. A lot of deception, a lot of betrayal with these cards right here. All my love, Gemini. Justice showed up. Justice showed up, so that means any person that played part in, you know, this river of tears right here, they may have to answer to the divine for their actions, but whatever, whatever that's about, man. Once you're loving on yourself, healing yourself, got a new world card for you, got justice, ten of cups, another major arcana, the wheel of fortune, and another major arcana, the sun. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. Here comes the sun. Jimmy Jam. Gorgeous, my friend. Go on with yourself. And do a whole new world right here. Whole new world. Oh, this is the sun and the moon. The sun and the moon right there by the wheel of destiny. Justice. New world. This could be a pretty uh, powerful union coming in here. For some of my Geminis out there, the sun and the moon sitting by the wheel of fortune in ten cups, justice, a new world. That could be a very powerful union right here for many, many, many of my Geminis. Very, very nice. Give me one more. Oh, yeah, look, Father Time. Oh, oh, look, Gemini. It's like a promise about something very, very special coming in here for you. Ah, uh, the Hermit card, uh, Big Virgo, um, Two of Cups. You know, that's a soulmate energy. That's a soulmate energy. Look at these cards right here. The Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, the Moon, Two of Cups, and the Leading and the Guiding of the Divine to the potential of Ten Cups. 
justice and a whole new world for Gemini. Gorgeous. Give me a love card here, Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. Jimmy Jam. Oh, codependency. Oh, thank God, man. You know, the old needy, clingy. This one actually says addictions on it. I got a devil over there, ten swords, all that kind of stuff. Here we go. Attraction came out, Gemini. Uh, it says you got your tractor on. Uh, this is a card about being in the now and being in the moment, letting the past be in the past. It's also an energy of don't put too much pressure on the future because the future looks beautiful. It looks like it's unfolding beautifully. Stay in your now. Stay in your moment. Get out there and smell some roses and all that kind of wonderfulness. Attraction. You got your tractor on. Give me one more. Gemini. Gemini. Oh, look, the walking and the talking card came out. Gemini, you know, there they are in the Ten of Pentacles garb. Wow. Wow, you're attracting a little bit of walking and a little bit of talking. Looks like you're attracting something with a very committed energy. Gemini, Gemini. Nice stuff, man. Here we go. Here we go. Give me a card right here. Major Arcana. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Wow, another wheel for you. An omen of good luck, good fortune, change for the better. Win a win a chicken dinner. It's the second wheel on this. It's the second wheel on this, man. Give me one more, Gemini. Gemini. What? <laughs> Now, these major arcanas tell the same story on top of your spread about uh, planetary alignments lining up in your favor, uh, the favor of the gods, spinning your wheel, your wheel, your wheel of fortune, your wheel of change for the better. Wow, there's a big hair fan there, too. Big old hair fan on the sun and the moon, two cups, wheel of fortune twice. All my love, Gemini, as your magician, the number one. Could be about manifesting a new world all around for yourself. Absolutely gorgeous, Gemini. Hey, if you made it this part in the spread, thank you for your view. Appreciate that so very much. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot card readers. If I have Jimmy Jam, smash that subscription button. Now ring my bell, hit that I like mic button, and I'm sure we'll see some more of this story. Huh? About the sun and the moon. Hey, our dreams come true, my friend. Love and light. Bye for now. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. Cancel, babies. Cancel, babies. Cancer, my lovely, lovely Cancers. Oh, I so agree with you right there, Valkyrie. That's brilliant. I'm going to repeat it. Forgiveness is a must. If you don't, it can make you physically sick. That is so true. That is so true. I mean, I'm 63 years old. I've, I've gone to the hospital more than one time in my life and set to go there to pray with people, to minister to them, to help them get up out of that bed. Sometimes I don't get up out of that bed. And uh, I will talk to them about forgiveness. Anyway. All that heaviness can get down in there, man. And mess things up down in there. Don't you know it? 
Anyway, my lovelies, forgiveness is a must, but always remember. Learn the lessons and go on with yourself, man. Anyway, anyway. Seems, uh, seems uh, you know, most of the people I was able to talk to to help them walk through some forgiveness, they get their healing. It's just not imaginary. Anyway, I see it a lot in my day. And by the way, I'm a healer, by the way. A lot of that's just about getting people to forgive. You don't know what they did to me 30 years ago, Mike. Nor do I want to. You need to let it go, too. It was 30 years ago. Shit, I mean, even if it was three weeks, do your best to let it go. Ah, uh, Virginia. Oh, right there in the super chat area. Right there in the super chat area. Um, it's a 9.99 super chat. Let me get you to read with me tonight, my friend. Thank you for asking. Okay. All right. Yeah, a lot of times forgiveness just has to do with getting away from somebody for a doggone minute, too. Let's, uh... <laughs> Love you guys. Always got me teaching, too. So I want nothing but health and happiness for my family around here. And forgiveness is an art form. Need to learn how to need to learn how to forgive. Um, I call it forgiving by faith myself when somebody's done me wrong. You yeah, know, because we'll keep them in the cage of our heart right there. And then and then you will pull them out, we'll slap them around a little bit, and you know, get, get, get back in there. Well, <laughs> you know. Um, so, um, when I, when I unconsciously find myself beating somebody up, um, I catch myself in the middle of it and I go, uh, Mike, um, you know, you need to forgive them right there. And so then I will, I'll speak those words out of my mouth and, um, forgive them, forgive them by faith. Because, you know, they might end up back in there anyway. You know what I'm talking about? You're going in about today and you're thinking about it again. You'd be like, well, I just forgave them 10 minutes ago. Why are they back in there? Well, I forgive you by faith. I forgive them by faith. I forgive them by faith. Eventually, you know what's going to happen. You're actually going to forgive them. And then what's going to happen to that cage is going to come out of your heart anyway. All my love, everybody. All my love. I call it forgiven by faith. It's a process many times. It's a process. All right. Cancers, my cancer babies. My cancer babies. Cancer. My lovely, lovely cancers. Let's go. Tarot time. Tarot time. Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Hello, Cancer. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you. Thanks for clicking in one more time. Quick shots for you. Quick shots for you. Gonna do a, uh, a freestyle tarot read uh, with the Heaven and Earth tarot. Primarily, I'm looking for a love story for you, Cancer. I got some love cards. I got a couple of major arcana to top off your spread from the Millennium Thoth. I always want to say thank you for your view. Appreciate it so very, very much. Thanks for your like or you're thinking about it. And a big, big, big shout out to all my cancers that have blessed me over the years. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, cancer. Thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Let's do it. Quick shots. Quick shot. Quick shot. Cancer. We're looking for a love story. Cancer, let's do it. Tarot time. Cut this deck. Quick shots. Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's going on around here? Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles to the star. Um, that's an Earth energy right there, possibly, Cancer. Um... 
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Looks like somebody's got a dream right here. The star showed up. Big Aquarius energy. On your spread, Cancer. Um, um, maybe somebody sees you as the catch. Let's see what's going on around here. Star, there could be some healing. Um, but this is a faith and hope. Faith and hope. Faith and hope. Oh, Divine Masculine just showed up in your spread. The Emperor. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's that Emperor right there? Who's that Emperor? You got some, maybe, maybe you got some Earth in your chart. I don't know. There's an Emperor looking at the Queen of the World in this story, or the King of the World. Because an Emperor can be male or female. I always call them the stubborn one. Look at this, man. The Emperor, the Queen of Pentacles, and a star showed up. Cancer, what's this about? Cancer, 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 give me one. Oh. There may have been somebody that's had their eye on you for a minute over here, Cancer. They may have air in their chart. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's my page of swords. That's my little looky-loo. Looking at the star. Looking at your glow up. Looking at you shine these days. Oh. Oh, maybe they're talking with Archangel Gabriel about blowing a horn around here. <laughs> oh. oh, that's a rebirth energy right there, Cancer. Big Scorpio Major Arcana, we got an Aquarius Major, we got an Aries Major, and we got a little looky-loo over there, could be that Emperor, looking at the, the Queen of the World, King of the World. Uh-huh, looking at you glowing up and blowing up, man, stacking coins, I don't know, fortune, fame, all that. Hootie hoo well, 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 what's going on around here, Cancer, Cancer. Give me one. Oh. Six of Pentacles on the top of the deck. The Hermit on the bottom of the deck. I don't know. Uh, you know, it could be uh, somebody, this, uh, you know, the stubborn one right here. The stubborn one. Uh, having some kind of enlightenment uh, from source about what we would call equal give and take. Six of Pentacles. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, because uh, they miss you. Oh, Lordy. Five Pentacles. Five Pentacles. Now, that is my two soulmates in this card right here. I know, I know, I know. Because you probably told this person to go sit down because they've been watching you from afar right here. They've been thinking about themselves with six pins. That's how I would read it. Because Source has sources got the spotlight on them right there. Source has got the spotlight on them. That's a big Virgo major arcana. And uh, Five of Pentacles is that, you know, that card about feeling left out in the cold. But it's got my two soulmates right there. It does. It has my two soulmates right there. Uh, generally, when one feels the burn of the, the coldness of the winter, the other one's feeling it too. But Here we go. Here's Breakthrough. Oh, Lordy. Cupid's arrows of love. Rapid communication coming in around here in this spread. From the old stubborn one, whose uh, source has got the spotlight on him. About equal give and take. Uh, maybe, maybe they, uh, you know, maybe they dealt with a little bit of that themselves out there in the world. Wow, here they come, man. Cancer, that's your major arcana. That's your major arcana right there. That's a chariot under eight wands. Oh, they're coming out of the cold, man. Are well, they going to make an attempt to, Cancer? Gonna make an attempt to. Oh, look at it, six wands. 
It's six one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always call this the return of the sun king. Oh, Lord, yeah, the return of the sun queen. Huh? Oh, they want victory. <laughs> they want the attention. Oh, cancer. Cancer. <laughs> cancer. Oh, they're tired of the timeout chair, cancer. They're tired of the timeout chair. <laughs> well, 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 you know. Um, if they come in with all this kind of energy, you might want to take a look at it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Eight wands, a chariot, six wands. Uh, six wands is a committed energy for me, uh, for a minor arcana card. Cancer. Cancer, you little looky-loo over here. They're talking with Archangel Gabriel. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just a piano player around here, Cancer. You know, I'm just a piano player around here. Well, my major arcanas on here are Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, and Cancer's card right there. This does say the romance of a lifetime. Oh, Lordy. Give me one more. Cancer. Cancer. Oh, wow, it might be. Somebody's, look at that, express the love. Wow. Oh, you've been, you've been, you've been loving on yourself. Oh, it's nobody's fault but mine. You've been loving on yourself for a minute over here, huh? <laughs> hey, hey, it does say enjoy the bliss of time together, my friend. Cancer, cancer, my lovely, lovely cancer. Give me a major on here for cancer, please. A major for my cancer, babies. Here we go. Oh, the hair. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. Big fiber right there. Big hair fan. Ooh, uh, okay, dokey, the hair has showed up. Oh, look at this, man. This seems to be about a story about the high priest and the high priestess. As above, so below. Look at these two. These are power. These are power couple when they put it together right here. Look at that, man. The magician. The Magician, as above, so below, as within, so without. Cancer, if you made it this part to read, thank you for your view. Appreciate you so very, very much. Um, hopefully I've heard your subscriptions. One of your tarot readers, if I have, smash that subscription button, Cancer. Ring my bell. Hit that I like mic button, if you would. And uh, definitely, I'm pretty sure that we will pull cards on this uh, Romance of a Lifetime. High Priest, High Priestess, Magician. Spread right here as above, so below. In the near future. All my love, Cancer. Bye for now. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Where's my Leo card? Where's my lovely Leo? Oh, it's already up here. Okay. Lovely Leo, you are up. My lovely, lovely Leos. All right. Leo and then my Burgalicious. Hey, Tabish, nice to see you tonight, my friend. Thanks for grabbing another read. We'll put all that list together here in a little bit. As soon as we're done with quick shots, my friends. We got Leo Virgo. Leo Virgo. Leo Virgo. Thank you, Miss O. Leo. 
Leo. Leo. Leo. Just saw a fool. Fool and ten pentacles. Yeah, fool, ten pentacles. Hmm. Leo. Ten Pentacles again. Let's do it, Leo. Rock and roll, Leo, my lovely, lovely Leo. Leo Collective Love Team. Leo Collective. It's rock and roll, Leo style. Hello, Leo. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you today. Quick shot. Quick shot, um, freestyle tarot tonight, my Leo friends, from the Heaven and Earth tarot. I'm primarily, I'm looking for a love story. I got some love cards. I got a couple of major arcana, the top off your spread from the Millennium Thaw. I always want to say thank you for your view. Appreciate that. You know I do. Thanks for the like while you're thinking about it. And a uh, quick thank you for all the many, many gifts that my Leos have blessed me with over the years. Leo, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. I appreciate it all. Large or small. All that being said, quick shot, quick shot, quick shot right here for Leo. Sun, moon, rising Venus. Let's do it. Let's cut this deck. See what it's talking about. Leo style. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, what's that, man? Kind of a mess. Kind of a mess. Let's see what's going on. The moon card. Oh, kind of a mess when I cut the deck and then the moon showed up. Now, oh, this is divine feminine energy, of course. Um, but I mean, as an overall, when I cut the deck and it goes all messy and wonky, um, this is my smoky trail right here. Can, can be about following somebody or something that's intriguing to you, hoping that the sun would show up one day. Huh. Moon card. Well, let's get a little clarity on this. Leo. Leo. The old smoky trail showed up. Give me some, Leo. Um, this is a King of Pentacles right here. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Um, male or female, Leo. Um, you know, the King of Pentacles energy, I like the King of Pentacles energy, except for one thing, especially when it's around that moon card right there, and, um, and that is that this character, male or female, their main focus in life could be the coin. Let's see what's going on around here, Leo. Leo. Lovely, lovely Leo. Give me a card, please. Oh, yeah, Ten Pentacles. How come we're not getting any cups around here? 
How come we're only getting somebody around here that seems to be interested in the coin? You know, I mean, the coin's important. I'd like to see you live without it. But there's more to life than just the coin. Uh, maybe they want to be around Leo, maybe because you've got some coins. Anyway. Leo. Leo. I, I don't know, man. There, 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 there's a river of tears right there. there I mean, there's some cops that just showed up. And, uh, these are spilled over here. That star is upside down. I don't know. I want to point out the two cups that are behind. Is this is this my Leo right here? It's like, where's the love, man? Where's the love? Leo, you may be thinking about getting in that boat and crossing that old river of sticks on that card right there to a new city over there. What's going on around here? Oh, wow, chariot when I said that. A chariot is an energy about uh, leaving the past in the past and moving forward. Um, I would say that that's absolutely what my Leo that I'm reading for may be thinking about because where is the love? Maybe you know where the love's at. I mean, two cups is over here. Two cups is right there, Leo. That's the moments that we're supposed to turn around and pick up. Chariot says you may be moving in a new direction. <laughs> Give me a little more on this, Leo. Leo. What we got right here. Oh, who's this? There's a page of pinnacles over here. That could be a new communication card. It's on the other side of the chariot. It's on the other side of the chariot. Uh, pages for me are communication cards. I don't know, telephone calls, FaceTime, huh? meet up, coffee date, maybe sushi. Chariot to a page of pentacles, Leo. <laughs> Leo, thinking differently, feeling differently, believing differently these days. Coming out of hangman. Coming out of hangman. You are thinking differently and feeling differently and believing differently about uh, what Four of Wands is about. You know, that's the happy home, the happy family, the communal fire. Oh. Let's go, man. Leo will be thinking differently about what home and heart's about these days. Leo, Leo wants some cups. Thank you. Cups and coins. Ain't nothing wrong with coins, but... I need some cups, too. Look, justice came out. A major arcana. It's a big Libra card. We got Libra major, Pisces major, and uh, Cancer's major um, with the chariot. Wow, ten swords. Uh, we got we got a bunch of tens going on around here. Tens talk about the ending of a cycle. This could talk about the ending of a very painful cycle. But the promise of a new day to dawn. Look at this chariot and a page. Justice. That's uh, it's the balancing of karma. It's, it's, it's the weighing of the scales of the conditions of people's hearts. Leo. Leo. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, that's eight cups right there, Leo. This is about uh, walking away from something that's no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. Here's all my Leo's cups. That's why the Ten Swords is here, more than likely. This would say that Leo's poured a lot of love and a lot of effort, a lot of energy into this situation right here. I only seem to go to the River of Tears. And uh, this is definitely going up to the mountaintop. You know, that's where Source is at. 
Uh, I'm looking for the ninth cup and the tenth cup of wish fulfillment. Wow, looks like you may find it up there, Leo. Here comes the sun. Do 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 do. Here comes the sun. <laughs> oh, ah, new world, my friend. Another major arcana on an old cycle ending. And a new world showing up here for many, many, many of my Leos. Give me a card right here, Leo, baby. Leo, baby. Go on, get you some of your son right there. Go on, there's a new world coming in here. Oh, look at who's that page right there that showed up. For some of you, it says this could be the one. You may have already met the romantic partner that you seek. Oh, hi, little page. <laughs> hi, little page. Here we go. Here we go. I hope you are. I hope you are already talking with somebody new, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leo. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No wonder the sun came out. This is the romance of a lifetime. <laughs> Leo. So go on. I <laughs> got a flirt card right here. Go on, Leo. Extend your lighthearted energy to somebody new. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, soulmate. True love, man. This could be the one. Go on with yourself, Leo. Go on with yourself, man. It's time to get on get, get in that boat. Go over that old river sticks right there. Paradise Island showed up. He did. Give me a card right here. Leo babies. Leo babies. What? The star came out, Leo. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful major arcana. It's about, you know, healing. Star puts out hellfire. It's about dreams come true. Look at these cards right here. Flirt, this could be the one. You know, true love card showed up. A star. Big Aquarius energy. Let's go. Wow, the star. And the sun. The star and the sun right there, Leo. Oh, I see a, I see a couple of little uh, angels. <laughs> Having laundry day. <laughs> anyway, Leo. Uh, I've been made it this part of the reading, Leo. Thanks for your view. Appreciate it so very, very much. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. Bam, smash that subscription button for me, huh, Leo? Ring my bell. Hit that I like mic button if you would. And uh, we'll definitely be pulling some cards on this. Huh, start of the sun. True love. May all your dreams come true, Leo. Love and light. Bye for now. Okay, dokey. Looks like it's time for Leo to get happy. Let's do it again, my Virgo babies. My Virgo babies. My Virgo babies. Virgolicious. Thank you, Virginia. Yeah, dreams can come true, dreamer. Dream dreamers. Dream dreamers. You create your own reality. We're learning that, right? About what we think feel and believe. That's why it's important to just be you. And a lot of times what we believe came from other people. Hell, maybe even other people that ain't even on this planet anymore. We're still believing what they believe and wondering why things ain't work. Just be you. Just be you, my lovelies.
All right, ready. Let's rock and roll, Virgo style. Virgo style. Lovely, lovely Virgos. Virgo collective, please love team. Let's rock and roll. tarot with you. Quick shots. Huh? Gonna do a little uh, freestyle tarot from the heaven and earth. I am primarily looking for a love story here tonight. That's why I got some love cards here, my Virgo friends. I also have uh, the 22 Major Arcana from the Millennium Thoth. We're gonna pull a couple of those to top off your spread here. Um, I do want to say thank you for your view. Appreciate that. You know I do. Make sure to like while you're thinking about it. And a big shout out and thank you to all my many, many Virgos that have blessed me over the years. If you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, my Virgos, thank you so very much. So very kind of you. Appreciate it all. Large or small. Well, let's see what the tarot's talking about. Virgo style, Virgo, my lovely, lovely Virgos. What do we got, love team? Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see what's going on. Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> Yo, Ron's a <the> devil. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. There, there's your devil. There's your devil. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Virgo. That's a card about breaking chains that bind. For me. For me. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we want to go, go on down the road. Oh, ten swords. Oh, my goodness, Virgo. <sighs> Well, my tarot friends, huh? This talks about the ending of a very painful cycle with the promise of a new day to dawn. Hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hurrah, my Virgos. My Virgos, give me some cards right here. Tell me about this new day dawning. Tell me about this new day dawning for Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. That's what I want to see. Oh, setting intentions, a new world. Oh. Now either that's somebody got their eye on you. See, there's two wands. That's a new world in his hand or her hand. And let go of that other one. It's way over there, Virgo. Congratulations. This is a card about, you know, setting your ships out to sea. Setting your intentions, a new world. Maybe, maybe that's somebody got their eye on you. Tell me more. Tell me more. Virgo. I don't know about this new day dawning. Eight Pentacles. Well, that's a great card. It is. It's about money, honey. A lot of times, you know, when we've gone through this kind of energy right here with a person, a place, or a thing, we may uh, go to work. This is normal. And uh, focus your energy on stacking up some coins. Because, you know, the devil's been here. Shit, man, maybe they've been digging through the old purse or the wallet. You know what I'm talking about. But I got uh, eight, eight pins, which is a very positive card about stacking coins. And two wands is about setting your intentions for a new world. Let's go, Virgo. 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 A hair plant just showed up. It's also a great card of spirituality. 
This is a very powerful card about learning life lessons, gaining wisdom, possibly from committed relationships, even the wrong ones, and taking that wisdom with you into a new world. It is also, you know, setting your intentions, you know, uh, about what you want. Maybe somebody spiritual, uh, maybe somebody enlightened. Uh, maybe somebody that's uh, about a committed relationship. Let's go, my Virgo babies, and the wheel spins. <laughs> and the wheel spins. I know how many good luck and good fortune just showed up around here. Hey, man, the wheel behind uh, the Hierophant. Oh, excuse, yes, the Hierophant. Could talk about something. Dustin coming in here for you, my friend. Something from the gods. And the wheel's spinning around here. Winner, winner, chicken dinner just showed up. Well, Virgo riding to the top of the wheel these days. Closing out a cycle, stacking some coins, setting your intentions on something very strong. Uh, Virgo. A big overflowing cup just showed up. Now, this is a card of self-love. It's also a card of a direct connect with the divine. It's also a card of love. Wow, man. Two of wands about a new world. Loving on yourself. Learned a lot of lessons, a lot of wisdom. A wheel showed up to an ace of cups. Perfect. Stop me right here on an eight wands. What's going on? That's some kind of rapid communication. Mikey calls that Cupid's arrows of love flying in here in Virgo's read. Oh, and a, and a love cup right here, a love offer. A love offer, a page. That could be somebody new. Could very well be somebody new. We've got a lot of love cards. All these, all these uh, cups and uh, passion cards showed up here after the wheel spinning. After the wheel spinning, a little more, a little more. Oh, what? Four of wands. Virgo. This is a nice energy showing up around here. That's a little, you know. That's preparing for the big day. Eight wands, keep it zeros of love, ace of cups after that wheel spinning around there. There's a little page <clears throat> talking about four wands in your quick shot here tonight. Well, 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 there could be a new love offer coming in. Huh? Destined, possibly. Uh, Hierophant energy, that's committed. There's four wands right there, too. Big old ace of cups overflowing on your spread. You may be you may be having to take a day off here in a minute. <laughs> Look what happens when you set your intentions to wands. <laughs> Hair fat, wheel, ace of cups, eight wands. A page of cups to four wands. Ooh. Virgo, go ahead and set your intentions. Give me a love card here for Virgo, please. Virgo. Virgo. Oh. Wow. You ready? <laughs> hi, Virgo. <laughs> oh, 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 hi. <laughs> Ooh, here we go, man. Virgo. 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 Oh, wow, and expressing love, Virgo, passion, and expressing love, eight wands, there's a little, little cutie cutie, crushy crushy page right there, sent by four wands, wow, 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 like I said, you may have to take a day off, look at this, man, I cut right to it, um, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. I would say with these cards right here. Oh, my love. <laughs> oh, my love. Give me a major right here. Give me a major, Virgo. Yay. 
Yay! Oh, Rebirth came out. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, it's uh, Judgment. Um, Phoenix from its ashes. Rebirth. There's Virgo and stars right there. Man, they're female. And uh, there's a whole new world. That definitely talks about completing an old cycle. And stepping into a whole new world around here. All my love, my Virgo. All my love. Um, if you made it to this part in the, in the read, thanks for your view. Appreciate that so very much. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. There's only a tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button right there, Virgo. Ring my bell. Hit that old I like Mike button if you would. And uh, we'll pull some cards on this in the very near future, huh? A page. Could go all the way to the engagement right here. All my love. Enjoy your new journey. Bye for now. Okay.